An attorney tells me his client was a devoted Angels fan who never expected to leave this ballpark last summer permanently disabled after being hit in the face with a baseball. But is anyone to blame? A day at Angel Stadium to watch his favorite major league team and lift his spirits ended with a catastrophic injury that left him permanently blinded in one eye and disfigured. And, according to a new lawsuit, the ball club and former outfielder Juan Ligaris are to blame. Attorney Rob Marcereau says after suffering personal tragedies, including the death of his father and a brain cancer diagnosis, 55-year-old David Mermelstein went to an Angels home game last summer with friends. He was in the outfield bleachers when Juan Ligaris caught a third out to retire the opposing team and then fired the ball up into the stands as a souvenir. The Angels were aware of this practice. In fact, they encouraged giving out souvenir baseballs to increase fan engagement and ultimately increase their own revenues. Mermelstein had been looking down to eat some peanuts and looked up as the ball slammed into his left eye, crushing it. Actually, that was his good eye. He has a degenerative condition and his, his right eye uh, has limited vision because of that degenerative condition. So now, everyday activities are a struggle for him. The civil complaint seeks an unspecified amount in damages. Major League tickets say the holder assumes all risk, danger, and injury incidental to the game of baseball. Have you heard from the Angels? Yeah, the Angels are denying all responsibility, saying, well, hey, that's, that's baseball. Tough luck. It is written on the back of tickets, right? You could get hit by a bat or a ball. What is your response to that? Okay, you mean that fine print that's on the back of every ticket that nobody reads? Yeah, that's not the law here in California. So I understand there's a risk when there's a batted ball, a foul ball, or a home run, but this accident, this happened when play was stopped. This was a voluntary act by an Angels player throwing it into the stands. And when you do that, you gotta do it safely. A spokesman tells me the Angels do not comment on pending legal matters. In Anaheim, Chris Wolf, KTLA 5 News.